welcome in Canada. be a bouncer in a nightclub <laughs> and a snowboard instructor. When I finished school, the last thing in the world I expected to be was a politician. youth, I look at my kids and I project them forward. And one of the things that I've realized and I've talked about a lot is um, making sure that I raise my daughter to understand that she can do absolutely anything. responsibility to ourselves and to the world to show that inclusive diversity is a strength and a force that can vanquish intolerance, radicalism, and hate. Highlighting, for example, that the uh, 25,000 Syrian refugees uh, we're bringing over isn't just about uh, doing the right thing or helping a crisis overseas, which of course it is in part, but it's also about uh, strengthening our communities, bringing over families who will uh, get jobs and build and create and contribute and create better futures for their kids than they could have uh, anywhere else in the world. I've been really clear on this. I am very much opposed to this project. I've been opposed to it, I'll be opposed to it tomorrow, and I'll continue to work against that. It was something that uh, I didn't think was racist at the time, but now I recognize um, it was something racist to do. Wearing brown face is an act of open mockery and racism. It was just as racist in 2001 as it is in 2019. to coast. Tonight, Canadians rejected division and negativity. 